Well, well, well. Apparently, uh... My PlayStation decided to crash when I did my first recording of this. This will technically be the second recording. So, greetings and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. I have no idea what caused the crash, but I know when it happened, so I'm going to have to basically stop recording and continue afterwards so that way I can save whatever I got. I went through Hello this there. entire mission Hello, with Amit. Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? Uh, I did. I before mean, it started I to crash. It took me like 40 speak minutes it? to go through this. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. Don't worry, I'm not going to really help with something. He's you know, waiting skip for me through in anything. Line. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? Absolutely. He simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. But if all of helps, my good uh, jokes that I just good made are now gone now. Good to hear. If Serena trusts him, then I feel much better. Yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and do all the the questions that you I asked you before. Know but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Apparently, he's not Once been reading I English that the much. Classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. What did they taste like? What was the texture? How long did it take to go through your digestive system? Anyways. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Yeah, because you don't want to end up showing up knowing a second language and then, you know, offend them by saying that their mother's feet pigs are uh, smelly. Because, uh, yeah. That can definitely happen when you're a foreigner. But anyways. Yeah, I'm super pissed. I went through all of this. Now? This is a good reason to have manual backup saves because my autosave would have just put me right after talking with Lodgok after we went through the mine. And that was a very heartfelt moment. Uh... So it's not going to feel the same when doing it again. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting but us. But I will definitely Before be arrives, staying quiet when course. it happens. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Mm. Well, that just makes you dumb. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Hey, watch your mouth. An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, Bacar! and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began. <laughs> That's our still funny to me. Even Ron when so you know, I lost it in the first footage. He cares it's still funny for her to contain. hear that. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, yeah. Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, y yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. 
Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. <laughs> I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Yeah, loiterings. Freaking. That's a $200 fine. Well, up to $200 fine. In some cases. Wait, what? I'm not an expert. Uh, can you tell me more about the door? What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I guess we're ready. Wait and I can do this. I will await your return. I was doing stuff in the background. I shall see you soon. Uh, maybe. I mean, last time it took me 40 minutes to go through all this. That's including, you know, me actually running through the area. So who knows? I may get the let out. We gotta go. Oh yeah. Plus I need to uh, uh, change my outfit. Uh, so yeah. I'm not sure how well this is gonna go down. I don't know what it is when it comes to fast traveling. I think they really need to, you know, look into that when it comes to their next update. Because the fact that the game crashes when you try to fast travel is actually really bad. Like, you know, I'm no expert in how you're supposed to program a game, but if one of your core functions of the game, which is a fast travel, causes the game to break, you probably need to look into that ASAP. There's no reason for you to, you know, be sitting on that not doing anything. And so they'd be like, oh, well, you know, for the most part, it still functions fine. No, that's an absolute no-no. I basically have to check in every 20 minutes or so. Uh, I don't know what outfit I want. I guess that'll be fine. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay. I'm going to pause for a moment. And then we're good to go. I also had to swap uh, where my headset dongle was because... It was definitely going to be overheating if I was going to continue playing this game. The door is looking at us. Oh, since I basically know what I need to do and how to do it, I can basically more or less speed run this. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Eh. Man, all my good jokes got ruined because I had to redo this whole thing. I can't believe we're inside a real goblin. <laughs> Come on. Give me the stuff so I can get. There 
And suddenly I'm having interference. But seeing one is something else altogether. Of course I am. We need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgog, to say the least. Alright, time to use my curses because uh I hate all of you. Hello? I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. Alright. We're being watched by a door. Incendio! Burn that. Gonna run up here. Stare at the water. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can. A schematic. There, be... there must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Break your pot. One less shield is a worm. Rebellion. That's the last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. But imagine. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Yeah, whatever. You can't boss me around, Amid. I will do what I want, when I want, how I want, at the pace that I want to do it. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they're doing about here. Ooh, that's right. And I had expected incendio. Did that not work? Oh yeah, it did. Rebellion. Yeah, frick. I didn't mean to actually jump down here. I got a top hat. I mean, of course I did. I'm fighting evil creatures. Grab 
grabbing stuff. I got a Christmas tree. But it's not December. Ah. That's too early. At least let me get my spooks out. Rebellion. Huh. I just realized there's an eyeball in the store. Yeah, you can't close nothing. Deal with it. Revelio. Go. I got things to do. Devil snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. I don't need to go that way. What's Actually, wait. Entanglement we need right now. Can't remember if there was a. Uh... No, that wasn't a box here. Interesting enough, the uh, the stuff you get out of the chest is definitely randomized. Incendio. That going. This is not good. They're building enormous Rebellion. drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgok what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. But I got one more door to check. A little more. The lock is randomized. Or at least somewhat randomized. Huge table. Swoop. Welcome sight indeed. Okay. And now that we went through that whole ordeal yet again, at least for me in my recording, I'm gonna pause. I'm actually going to also change out my scarf because I don't really like the silver one much as I thought I did. 
Can we please talk about this? No. Quit being Can a pansy. Please talk about what just happened. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Cock. Understood. I probably could have absolutely done it without him, honestly. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. No. The only person who without can write books here is me. Had you. Because, uh... I'm the one who has lore of the endowment in the link in the description below. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. And then basically after this I can must be keep searching quiet. for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you no. share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Okay. Completed the It's all gobbledygook quest I yet have again. Some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. No, I don't want to hear about you know who, Poppy. I do not want to know about Lord Voldemort.
by any capacity. He's not going to be alive for another 200 years. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Okay, so that's where the game crashed on me the last time. Also, I wanted to comment on the fact that uh, this dude has glasses whenever I see him, but uh, for whatever reason on his letter profiles, he doesn't have any. I don't know if that was an oversight by the developers or if for whatever reason he didn't need his glasses with the uh, with the profile picture, but now all of a sudden needs them. I don't know. So I'm going to pause and save. And let's see here. Sky's the limit. Yeah, I want to do this again. I want to see the broom upgrade. Okay, there we go. It did kind of concern me with... The, whoa. Christmas decorations. It did kind of concern me with the way that it loaded in. That it might cause problems. Wonderful to see you. And I see his glasses. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. What are we looking for today? But for whatever reason, his, uh, his picture profile doesn't have it. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these. I don't need them. And it's not really worth it to go to the room of requirement to figure out what that is just yet. $4,000? Boy, don't you know how a discount works? It's supposed to be free. I want it. Deal with it. You'll be fine with that broom. I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. I bet this you can. This is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really. What with Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I think. Bro, you think? Seriously? I had to readjust my freaking dongle again because something's just really not working right with it right now, and I don't like that. Uh, sounds a bit dangerous. Might be a bit dangerous for a broom trial. I'll see what I can do. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful. Oh my course. gosh, the puns. They're so terrible. I look forward to our next meeting. It make my brain hurt. Anyways. So, we don't, we're not going to deal with that one. Imelda Reyes. Yeah, I don't want to deal with her. So, Poppy, and then we have to talk to the lady in the map chamber. Uh, yeah, let's go with the map chamber. I did not mark that. There we go. Change out of my robe. Man, the house robe really is like one of the best, one of the fanciest looking ones. Alright, that should be good. What was the upgrade anyways? Does it tell me? No? I guess I probably should have read it uh, when I was buying it. But whatever. 
Upgrade's an upgrade. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. You got it, crazy lady. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. I don't need to talk to Fig. I already know how to get there. Wait, seriously? It's not gonna mark where he is. What's going on here? All is well that ends bell. Speak with the Hufflepuff astronomy. Oh, there's a new side mission. What about over here? Uh, another summoner's court. More cheaters! That's all they are. They're just a bunch of cheaters. And yeah, not gonna be over there. At least I don't think it'll be. There you go, fixed classroom. Although he probably won't be here. No, oh, he is here. Well, la dee da, game. Trick your pots. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. I would rather but not hear any of now. this. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. I'm Incredible. still salty at my recordings Very being destroyed well. because of a, to get past the stone a crash that the, the game house elf conjured because I teleported. I don't the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. What? Wait. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So, how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, mm. time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Also, I think it's funny that it says that I'll sound like him, but uh, whenever they've used Polyjuice Potion, especially in the movies, How do you they've never that? actually 
incredible. Excuse you. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. Yeah, they've never sounded I've like the person the that they've changed into. In your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. That's fine. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. All right. I get to be the blackest of blacks by being black himself. Well, yeah, Polyjuice Potion doesn't work the way that Do they say it moment, does. Professor. Oh, no. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably <laughs> best not to discuss it here, sir. Oh, really? I will decide what's best. <laughs> I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it <laughs> by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. <laughs> I do. This is great. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Polyjuice Potion doesn't allow you to speak the same you as the person that you transformed into. Boots. Do better. <laughs> Chewing yeah. with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Ah, yeah, this is great. What could the headmaster want? Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. <laughs> bah, I Just am a sheep. know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> On your way, Mr. Weasley. Wow. <laughs> we did that purely to... Well, there's one for my diary. Purely to scare him. We had no reason to actually talk to him or to berate him in any capacity. We just wanted to give the redhead a scolding for the sake of... I haven't time making him, any you know, be on his toes. None, none at all. Move aside. <laughs> Master, here, what could he want? Oh, ominous. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical <laughs> student, wasting the hours away. <laughs> I I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading 20 for 20 inches? Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus <laughs> makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you give someone who doesn't deserve power too much power. <laughs> and I love it. Professor, a word? Professor Black, a game. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We 
we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say Ouch. some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? <coughs> I... You are quite impossible sometimes. <laughs> Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Oof. <laughs> that would be unwise. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> and I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Greetings. That's a good question. I mean, out of my way, children. Oh, uh, this is great. I love this. I love being able to play as Professor Black. <laughs> I want to do this all the time now. We'll find out. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, <laughs> sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? <laughs> okay. Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Ah. Uh, all the problems that I had up to this point stand proud pure bloods seem kind of worth it now the future is yours hmm. just because of uh, all these interactions absolutely professor? ridiculous a word please hello professor black ah professor weasley how how delightful to see you sir ah uh, since i have you here i wonder if i might um speak with you about professor fig oh very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. He's handling secret ministry matters. Why would I say that outright? And I don't miss him. That's kind of random. I mean, granted, that would more or less be his response but I don't know if I really want to say you know secret ministry matters I'm just gonna say and I don't miss him I realize that and I'd like to keep it that way I see but sir if I may I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle supposedly on professor figs behalf I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> wow. That was super uncomfortable. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand him. <laughs> <laughs> never understand him, she I says. I ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Uh, we could have handled that a little bit better. Hey, we could have just, you know told her to back down and that you know he's doing what he needs to do for his students and that having the fifth year run into the forbidden forest isn't all that much of a problem what a wonderful job scrope is doing yeah uh, attention students 
I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. I shall be taking no questions at this time, or ever. <laughs> yeah! For Ravenclaw. <laughs> uh, Ravenclaw wins the House Cup. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Strange. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> you dare question me? Yeah, you dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family Motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's to do with strength. It's to do with my family's reign. It's to do with my purity of blood. Um... I think it has to do with purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure, yeah. obviously, and of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ah, Toujours pur. Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Excuse you? The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Oh. Run! We gotta run! That's so weird that belching is the sign that the potion's wearing off. Although, you know. I guess <sighs> that makes sense. Time. It's wearing off. was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. How do I know it's a gargoyle that I need to speak to? What? We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away Bickle. without seeing <laughs> my mother's eye. Meet me in the Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Okay. Natty wants me to meet her. Is there anybody else that wants me to meet them? Before we actually question that or get an answer, I'm going to pause. Alright, so I got about mm, like 20, maybe 30 minutes if I absolutely need to stretch it to be able to do what I need to do. That's perfectly fine. I mean, I was able to blitz the, uh, the goblin mine fairly easily. So... Because that, that actually did take me like 40 minutes the first time, basically because I wanted to look around. But, unfortunately, there wasn't really anything good going on there. Ah. So, having to go through it a second time, I basically just knew the where gargoyle. to go and what to do. That's where I need to speak the password. Wait, why does this need a password to access the office? I mean, I can understand if it needs a password when the headmaster's out, but... Like, in general, why does it need a password if the headmaster is on the premises? Toujours pure. I wonder if Dumbledore ever changed that. Or if he, like, removed the password in general. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. A lot of paintings. Oh, hey, there's Merlin. It. I can only assume it is Merlin just because of the way he looks. Like that's generally the uh, ball. That's generally the way they depict Merlin as a wizard in any iteration. Dude with. Uh, I like bent. Spike top hat 
with a, a double pointed beard and glasses. Basically, no other wizard ever actually looks like that. Which is kind of strange. Like, I don't see why they don't. They need to make more wizards. What if they made it's a wizard with three pointed All beards? Thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Uh, what will I find in the book? What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot what is going more. on with your eyes? You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Something's wrong with her face. I don't think that's how she's supposed to look. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelia. That must be the pedestal. Oh. Well, that doesn't look good. Ah! I got evaporated. I got imploded into the pages. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald. Whoa. Can you hear me? I this? am here. In this Whoa. place. You may call me Eve. I feel like I'm in the digital you world. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. DJ Mon, digital monster. Oh wait, swiftly and that's wrong series, wrong franchise. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Wow. The first you will need is a cloak. But I already have one. That doesn't sound good. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound like the digital world. Oh, hello. What are you doing here, Jack Skellington? Oh. Death Eaters! Is that really necessary? You know, since I don't have the ability to really do anything, I guess I have no choice but to sneak around. Whoa! Oh, hi there, dude. What you doing? I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. What is going on here? Whoa. Okay. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. You don't see anything. My phone went off I in the need background. To this just right. You don't, nope. You don't see anything. You're running. Oh. They almost saw me. Crazy. Woo. A staircase straight ahead. Freaking Death Eaters. Get your pure blood nonsense out of here. Ah. Whoa. Death. What's he looking for? I can see that I can be invisible, but the water gives away my position. A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Hey, you sure about that? Time to 
go. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. But I mean, cross it to where? Do I have to go into that building? I'm just gonna go for it. That's where I need to go. But I need to find a way past them. I don't like the noises you guys make. What the heck? There was a Wigan Weld potion there? I can't even use those though. I can't use anything here. Oh, hello. Ugh. Well, that's a problem. Go away. Thank you. Now's my chance. That's the way forward. Is it now? Uh, um, I'm stuck. Um, like, I, I, what? I can't, I can't move. What's going on? I, I seem to have softlocked by trying to use Revelio, but. Uh, okay. This, uh, is going to require me to have to do a restart. Thanks. Uh, well, it's better than getting a full on crash, but. Whatever, I guess. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Okay. Well, thankfully, uh, it saved it right here. Close the way forward. So I can. Yes, now I can start moving again. Uh, I didn't have to go through all that mysterious cloak. Oh. Mysterious. No. I think I'm invisible. It's the literal invisibility cloak. Why do I have such a thing? How did I get such a thing? Wait. How does that make this any better when it comes to... I can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. That's weird. But I mean, the disillusionment charm pretty much does the exact same thing. So I don't understand why between the disillusionment charm and the cloak, that the cloak is more powerful. It's the exact same thing. I'm gonna get right up in your face and tell you you're a butt. Alright, I'm out. This is the way forward. Finally free. 
Now, where are you, Neve? I will walk in place. What's that? You have one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. What? Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. I will absolutely squander it. Also, why are you letting me use this wand? I have obtained the Elder Wand. Now to use Protego Diabolica. I will burn my enemies. In a blue flame of destruction and dragons. Rebellion. Do I have Protego Diabolica? No. Bombarda. Mm -hmm. That wasn't any powerful than, you know, my regular Bombarda, but okay. Why am I going through the Deathly Hallows situation? Rebellion. This kinda doesn't make any sense. Hi, how you doing? Get out of here. Nope. Get out of here. Oof. Feisty. Okay. How about no? What do you think I'll do? Yeah? Nope, not happening. Oh. I wasn't expecting you to attack me so soon. Yeah? Now what are you gonna do? Gotcha. Man, he went far. That was amazing. Yeah? What are you going to do about that? Nothing. That's what I thought. Hey, that's not fair. I was doing my attack first. The pulse of Descender. Bombarda. Defender. Nope. Bombarda. Revelia. Yeah, freak you pots. You can just come in here and give death my location. Man. This wand is intense. Frick you pot. Feel the power of the Elder Wand. Pavelio. I am all powerful. I still question why I got it though. Oh, hi, Death. How you doing? Are you upset? Are you mad? Ow. Got you, miss. That doesn't work. Bombarda! Defender! Defender! 
Nope. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting you to break my shield there. Into the wall. That's a troll. Nope. Feel pain. Get out of here. Trash. Oh, you're gonna fight me yourself? No? Still gonna send trolls? Ah, uh, no. That's right, get out of here. I'm too powerful for you to take down. I have the power of invisibility and the power of destruction. There's nothing that stands in my way. Except pots. But frick you pots. Wait, so if I have the wand and the cloak, what's the other one gonna be? Like, how's that gonna work? Walking in place. Are they basically gonna just give me infinite health now? This must be for me. I don't know about that. Huh. That looks a little suspicious. Almost as if I've seen that kind of symbol before. Alright. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Right. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. Let us always honor her memory. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Hi, Death. Can you stop being a douche for five seconds? Oh. I guess so. I don't know if this is a good idea. The last time I heard someone got resurrected with the resurrection stone, they became evil. And, uh... Basically caused the person who resurrected them to, uh... You found me. But you cannot or undo what explode. has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Yeah. Well, then why we do this? What's the point of resurrecting you if it's only going to conjure a shadow? <clears throat> but there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Yeah. There's no money without people, and there's no people Remember without money. Remember that, as you witness my memory. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Gigantic statue. Okay. Honestly, I almost kind of like the game being in this art style. I kind of hope it would just stay this way forever. That's not the one that I'm supposed to have, but okay. Isadora, 
What you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Uh, it in. Oh, can you feel it? What? Did she oh, just it eat it? This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Yeah, I don't like the fact that she was just able to devour the pain and then feel empowered by such thing. Like, I feel power in giving pain with the Cruciatus Curse on, on my enemies because, you know, it's the Cruciatus Curse. It's kind of what it's designed to do. Hmm. I think it was a lot stronger than I expected it to be. But Repair. what she's doing is way out of line. And outside the boundaries of the norm. Like, she's straight up taking their pain and devouring it. As a means to make herself stronger. That is super unnatural. I'd seen Bacar's tower countless times. Never is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Nope. It is not true at all. It is. And I have. You are so... Young. Amazing. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. It was fascinating. It was disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. That's fine. I want to go talk to Sebastian anyways. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. It I says you. What you told Professor Bacar. Isadora Bacar! was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. 
I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Oh? I mean, whiskey's always on fire. Wait, what? How do I know that? Anyways. Yeah, I'm too young for this. Well, all I need now is for Sebastian to contact me. Uh. I oh. shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Ah, oh, Sebastian's being nice again. Uh, what? <laughs> it just shows Professor Weasley and then ends? Uh, she didn't really actually send me a letter? What? What happened there? Excuse me, what? Where's Professor Weasley? Why? Excuse me, why was your letter blank? Um. Share your experience with the. F oh, okay, here we go. Every time I click on it, it does a how thing. Transformation. Okay, so that one's last one. Okay, so this is the new one. Deke tells me he shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check in with him when you get the chance. He has an idea for you that I thought worth exploring. You mean I'm gonna go find the phoenix? Isn't that like a super rare and valuable bird that is basically impossible to obtain? I shall obtain it! But unfortunately that'll have to be in the next session. Uh, Bombarda. Not gonna worry about that. Okay, so... Phoenix Rising? Yep! I'm gonna be going finding a, a phoenix. But I don't think I have room for a phoenix in my, uh, in my room of requirement. In my, what do you call them? I for, uh, I forgot what they're called. Terrariums. Yeah, I don't think I have a, another terrarium that can house the phoenix. Uh, we're gonna have to talk to Sebastian in the next session, unfortunately. And then after that, we'll deal with the phoenix. So, where can I go to more or less end this session? What can I wear? I don't know. I think I'll just go ahead and, uh... Drop in at the room of requirement. Not really anywhere else I can go. But, regardless, uh... That'll be the end of today's session, so thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, stay safe, take care, and I hate those glasses! Freck you, game! Alright, well, we'll see you in the next session. Talk to Sebastian.